Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm here to share with you uh, what I've been doing. A friend of mine asked me to make her some uh, some greeting cards and uh, I've been playing with watercolors and jelly prints and all kinds of things and bookmarks. She wanted to make, to make some bookmarks as well. So um, I just wanted to share with you what I did and uh, maybe I'll give you some ideas. Uh, so for the bookmarks, I use leftover jelly prints that I made um, a while back. And uh, so I used this on, um, it's mixed media paper. And uh, I just wrapped it around the mixed media paper. So they're on the same, they're the same on, on both sides. And just added a little ribbon. Um, I was thinking of maybe adding stencils, but I find that the already the uh, the design is already pretty busy, so I think I'm gonna leave everything as is. And I wanted to make my video before I wrap everything up for her. So this one I just it was smaller, but I added um, a scallop uh, edge here. The back is very nice as well, back or front, whatever. And this, I have to say, I think this print was one of my, is one of my favorites. And this is the green. Oh, and this is a, a, a watercolor paper that I was just, you know, dabbing my ink uh, colors. And it, you know, so I didn't want to throw it out. So I tried to match it with, with um, a gel uh, print that I made. And I added gold, um... Uh, you know the gold paste around it and put a gold um, eyelet for the ribbon so these are the bookmarks and now for the cards uh, and I've been playing with a lot with watercolors lately and I was into blues and I love Payne's Gray it's my favorite color so um, been doing uh, her cards in blues and she, she's not she likes blue, so I thought uh, I would make all kinds of different things. So this is a face from uh, Dina Wakely, a stamp. Uh, I really love this one. Uh, this is a stamp from Tim Holtz. And I wanted to color the leaves inside, but you know what? I, I like them this way. I didn't want to ruin it, and I thought, you know, sometimes less is better. Uh, this is just uh, some stamps that I have, so it's more abstract. This is in the greens. She loves the greens as well. And these are Tim Holtz uh, butterflies. Here's another one. So, you know, the paint don't go to waste and uh, it makes me practice. And uh, she says she refuses to pay uh, 5 or $7 dollars. Uh, for a card uh, made in China. She says when her friend is an artist, so she says uh, I'll buy your, your cards as well. That's very, very, uh, I appreciate it very much. So I made her all these cards. This is, I was playing with a palette color and this is all acrylic inks. And you know, you do your, um, it, it was a, a series of six and um, I broke them down and I'm, for the, these leftovers, I made two cards uh, and you never, you know, you can either send it this way, you can send it this way, whatever, you know, you like. And this is the, uh, the other one. I added some stencils, some inks. You know, I really had a lot of fun doing uh, these. And I always try to choose, I have the color cube and I choose colors, and then I, I just play with them. Uh, this is another of uh, Tim Holtz um, stamp. And I distressed the, uh, the edges on these because the frame was too small, and I didn't want to throw these out, they're beautiful. And um, yeah, another Tim Holtz stamp as well as this one. So with the oxide on the side, on the distress oxide, it you know, it adds depth, I, I think, anyway. This was another uh, color cube that I tried. Um, I used all the rest 
uh, in collage and I had this one left and I thought well you know I'll make a card and it's not uh, again you can do it this way or this way she also wanted some uh, cards for men for birthdays so um, I did a few this is the Tim Holtz uh, Sizzix dies again using oxide inks in the back and with a stencil you just erase to make a pattern and um, added uh, for a birthday um, birthday um, greeting here and I ha also had these the gentlemen so I sewed uh, I took black cardstock some cardstock that I had here did some stitching all around just glued my my um, die here and added um, happy birthday greeting and same for this one so uh, did, did some stitching around and so now she has a few for the men and she can also I find that she can also send this one for men if she chooses to so that's it my friends I just wanted to share with you what I was up to um, I'm working a lot in my art journal so at one point I'll make another video of the work that I've done <clears throat> so again thank you to my new subscribers um, thank you to my also my my uh, subscribers that have been with me since the beginning and always comments on, on my work and um, that's it I just hope that you're uh, all well and take good care of yourself and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.